Hello, this is Brewer, and welcome back to the episode of Let's Play Motorsport Manager. We are still in our World Motorsport Championship Series, uh, where we're supposed to be getting third or above. We're well below that target. Um, again, normally I would be okay with that, because I usually try to get my car better by the end of the season, try to get some of those last points at the, towards the end of the season. But the chairman is not willing to wait that long. In fact, he's already put us an ultimatum on us. It says if we don't get seventh or higher in this next race, we get the boot out of our own team, which is just really sad. Um, let's say Lau's better. Make sure his morale stays high. Because uh, we're going to have to put all of our points into Lau here. Hopefully, hopefully, we can keep him where he needs to be. All right, let's check our uh, pit crew. Man, our pit crew is not doing great here. Not doing great at all. Uh, I guess you swap in for that. You're good at the rear jack. Um, that's about all you're good at. I'm going to try and use you for refueling. It's not terrible. Oh, it's fixing. Sorry. Refueling. And then... What are you good at? You're good at front jack and fixing, which I don't care about either of those right now. I mean, I guess if we did this, it's not ideal. And then we can move that guy to tires. It's not great, but it's better than nothing, I suppose. And then... You're not really that good overall. I mean, you got a 16 on the fueling, which is awesome, but I'm tempted to just fire you just so we can get a new fresh person in here. Besides, you've made a couple mistakes already as well. If we get some of these guys rested up, that would be a huge win for us. Getting them guys, these guys in here. All right, so let's try and swap out. Although 11.1% on fixing, I don't. You basically, just sit there. You'll do nothing, presumably. So that might be okay. Yeah, we'll leave you there. Design engine finished. Oh, almost done. Not quite. All right, let's check out the car now. Engine build is done. We need to get more engine stuff going. Okay, so top speed. Can we pick this up and then grab two of these? Yes. That's a very expensive engine, but would turn out to be a really nice engine. Um, yeah, I mean, I think this is, this, this may have to be, I'm trying to think if any of these other combinations would be better, but I don't think so. Sad, every single good component is got a risk level. I mean, we may have to start going with a risk level, but I've gone this far this entire season with, with no risk that I would really prefer to not, not start doing it now. All right, 2.8 million is incredibly expensive for this but we're gonna get some more sponsor stuff coming in soon and we we have to have engine like this to be able to have a chance in this part of the problem though is gonna be this is gonna be this is not gonna finish until after this next race we're not gonna be able to use this fairly good engine on this next race now we do have this other engine back here that we just picked up um Which the reliability is already where it needs to be because we don't need any more. If we give it to Lau, then we're going to be fine. Honestly, we need pure, pure performance on this engine. So what I may do, close out all these, plug in just pure performance on this engine, see if we can get this thing as capped out as possible, get something going for us. I'm trying to pick a couple of these parts that we can cap out just for Lau specifically. That will still finish before the race is done. Okay, 
these are pretty close to already capped up. This one's fairly close as well. I'm still two hours before race, so in theory we could cap all these out at least. I don't have anything else. Yeah, it's too late. All right, let's go with this. Cap these out. Be done with them. See what we can do with that. Let's give Lau the best card we could possibly give him. Give him the best fighting chance we can, honestly, at this point. Frankie's birthday. Don't really care about Frankie's morale. Sorry, Frankie. I don't really care about your morale. I know it sounds so bad, but I don't. You're not worth $100,000 because you're our backup driver. That's terrible. I, I feel bad now. I should not pick on poor Frankie. He's been he's been good for some money for us. Alrighty. Um, I like the upfront payment here. Just to get us a little something to pay for that engine we just bought. But obviously the qualifying is terrible. Do we still have the ninth or higher qualifying? This is second or above. What can we pick up here? Fourth, fifth, sixth. All right, let's grab this then. Let's get a little bit of money. And then we will go ahead and probably just grab... We'll grab 13th or above. Let me start getting some money from this. I mean, 10th or above. Yeah, we'll go with this. I mean, let's get to some upfront qualifying money that's guaranteed. Um, well, this is only four races, so we'd be able to get something else before the end of the season. If we got this one, if we even if we only got like the qualifying every time, that would be eight hundred thousand dollars. We're still only a hundred thousand short of this. If we got both somehow, that would get us up to what one point six mil, which would be more than if we got everything here over the next four races. No, I'm sorry. No, that's not that's not right. This would be one point seven mil. If we got all of this over the next four races. That'd be 1.7 mil. If we got all of this over the next four races, that'd be 1.6. No, so this one actually technically is ever so slightly better other than the fact that it extends for nine races. This one would actually give us another one in, in four. So that's the big difference there. We'll go with this one because maybe we'll get something else before the end of the season that's, that works out even better. All right, Lau. Stretch your legs, buddy. We're going to be counting on you big time. More marketability, that's good. No, I don't want to pay for a vote. Thank you, sir. Report on the upcoming race, newspaper rumors. Really? I'm not. Why would I think about getting rid of you? That makes no sense. Oh, boy. Well, that's frustrating to get some morale hit to him right there like that. Does that affect his... Uh... No, he's still got nurse. So that's, that's just the relationship here. It's different. So at least that's still locked in for now. just his overall morale, which is never a good thing to lose a little bit of. Scouting reports being f are finishing. Pay driver. Actually pretty good. It's pretty good. Passion. I mean, how long do we have left on you? Five months. So we swapping you out would be would be fine. And you're only giving us eight hundred thousand. So this actually is a better one. Do we have any more being scouted? We have a couple more being scouted. We could hold up just a little bit longer, but let's actually go ahead and favor you because you are a pretty good pay driver.
All right, so we finished our car um, improvements. That's huge. Um, one day after race, at least get a little bit on it. Let's go ahead and max these out as much as we can again. Try to give these allowed to get him as much eked out performance as we can possibly can. Seventh or above. Oh, so crazy. Well, we're going to go six or above here, I think. Because why not? I mean, we're, we're, out, we're out of this race if we don't. Anyway. All right, Lau, buddy, pal, friend, you literally get all the best parts. It's that. You get there. Lau gets that. You get that. Lau gets that. You get that. Lau gets that. And Lau gets that. Sorry that you're unhappy. It's just going to be the way it is. He's performing better overall, so he needs to have the better car. Sorry that you're going to be unhappy. Oh, going to solve our... Come on. <laughs> Seventh or above is not going to be easy. I kind of don't want to get qualifying. Because I, I don't want to be in a state where we're like half tread on our tires or anything like that. Since this is such an important one, I don't think we use Frankie Parks in the um, in this part. We need to get the feedback up as high as possible, as quickly as possible, to make sure that we can get maxed out, you know, points and things. We still probably could, but I just want to make sure we get every chance we have. Milan, track A. Do I not have a Milan for Shin? I have one for Lau. Another one for Lau. Let's just do the two of the Laos for now and be fine with that. Um, let's go with, I guess, the softs. Not any evidence of rain or anything like that, is there? Nope. All right, we got to try and get Lao to like 99%, if at all possible. Go, go, go. I have a feeling our slow engine is going to hurt us on this race though there's a lot of good high speed opportunities i just don't think we have a quick enough engine for it all right down force just needs a smidge speed balance needs a little bit more go something like that that was got a way to go unfortunately Come on, guys. Let's get this locked in. Better. Not great, though. From great to great. So still don't quite know where we're supposed to be. A little bit further. Excellent, excellent. Good to great. So at least know the speed balance is headed in the right direction. Probably too far, but we'll go with that for now. See what it does. Lau, well, got a couple excellence. Need to chase that last excellent though. Good to great on the downforce, just a smidge more on the downforce. Let's 
see where that gets us. At 98, I mean, normally I'd be very happy with that. Uh, I may have to be happy with that here, but... I have a feeling this is going to be too far on the speed balance. Not quite on the, the uh, wings, unfortunately. Good, great, great. Just a smidge more, it looks like. Um, let's do this one. Kind of the smallest change in like, speed balance and stuff. Come on, guys. Let's get these locked in. We got to get our... This is probably the last one we can do, though, because we really got to get our knowledge locked in. Yeah, see, so that messed up her, um, her stuff. All right, we'll go with that one. It's going to be fine. Uh, we'll send you out nine laps. Just go as far as you can. There we go. That's what we needed to see for Lau. Get his excellence across the board. 99%. It's about as good as you're going to get. I don't know if I've ever seen 100. Um, so let's just rock and roll here. See if we can get this knowledge locked in. Bring you in now. We can send her out for one more lap to get the last little bit. Uh, do we need to change the tires? Uh, you can go a little bit further on the tires. So we got that one locked in. Bring her back in. Send out. Qualifying trim. Uh, let's change to a different tire at this point, I guess. I don't know if we'll get this in time, but I'll lock in another one real quick. I should have changed his tire when he was in here earlier. Didn't think about that for a second there, to be honest. All right, go, go, go. We've got eight minutes left. I think we can get at least the uh, qualifying um, trim locked in here. Maybe not the tire, but at least the qualifying trim. That's possible we get the tire here, too. It's going up pretty quickly here. Both of their knowledge being high is very useful. Yeah, we got that. And yeah, we're going to get this. We're going to be fine. Hey, he's looking. He's sixth in uh, practice. So, I mean, there's that. Oh, we didn't quite get the uh, tire. All right, fine. Go out just a little bit more, guys. Only need like one more lap and you'll get it anyway. Seventh. I mean, he got seventh there. Um, doesn't mean a whole lot necessarily, but it, it maybe points to something being okay here. We'll see what happens when we're actually doing it for real. This qualifying session, I think, is going to be very telling. I'm just going to go with soft tire here. Let that lock in. I don't know if that qualifying trim thing's really been helping us that much. And simulate session. Come on, guys. Show up here, please. Okay, well, top five here. I don't know if that means anything, but it's, uh, it feels good for now. I don't know if we can do that in the race itself, though. Still got a couple more qualifying sessions to go, though. Oh, of course it started raining. It's going to change these up quite a bit. There goes 
was loud. Bumped right up there. Fourth place. Really? Man, if we got fourth place here, that would be such a huge, huge thing. Obviously, we only need seventh or higher to keep our jobs. I would be ecstatic if we got points as well. Come on, guys. Show me what you got. Slightly flirted with third place there for a second. Top five, though. She in seventh. <laughs> I would accept this if this is what we got. But, ah, uh, don't know. Don't know. Actually, the green guy down here wasn't... Looks like he wouldn't even try. I guess he was... He got eliminated in the last one, so... That's probably better. I mean, we know he's fast, so he's going to be up here anyway. So I don't think we keep... Since he wasn't in the mix of us getting in fifth place, I don't think we keep fifth place. I think we're going to be maybe seventh or better because he's going to get two spots up here. These two red guys are, and these two gray guys probably are as well. So best we can probably get, get is probably going to be... Um, do we even need nurse? We've been going without nurse for a while, and I don't think we've needed it. Let's go without it here. Uh, we do need to push it to the limit here, unfortunately, because um, he does have that engine that's going to be really bad otherwise. And it looks like it's going to be a bit rainy for a lot of this race, so this is going to make things pretty interesting. Good news is, even though we qualified, we do not have to stay on those tires because of the fact that it's changing to rain. Um, really? Are we the only ones coming out on enters? Maybe that was a mistake. It's going to be like one lap and then people are going to have to start pitting in. So we're probably going to drop back pretty quickly here, but I still think this is the right move. It's not like it's going to be super wet. It's still going to be wet enough for enters, I think. How are these green guys going? These green guys are actually alternating. One's going uh, softs, the other one's going to enters. Alright, so Lau is going to drop back here. That's just the way it's going to be. In fact, we don't even need to be pushing the tires that far until it gets a little bit wetter. For that matter, let's just not even push the engine that far until it gets a little bit wetter. Let's not go crazy just yet. Probably one more lap. Just, just kind of settling in here a little bit. And then we'll start pushing a little bit more. Start getting a little bit more water on the on the on the track. Probably one more lap, honestly. Like I just I want to push it, but I want to make sure there's plenty of water on it to make it worthwhile. All right, I think there's we're pretty close. I'm gonna push it up and overtake and attack. See if we can get past these guys that are in the wrong tires. Oh, push, push, push. Go, go, go. Oh, we need to make sure this is auto. Should be using that. There we go. Big old boost. Lao. Swing past that guy. Seventh place. There we go. Currently saving our lives for the moment. A lot of these guys are in the wrong tires, so that, that should bode well for us. I mean, other than Tanakuchi here, because he's uh, obviously in the right tires. Look at that, it's just swinging past these guys. All right, let's settle into high and push. Actually, let's go down to neutral. Uh, we'll go push, because we're going to have to change tires anyway, I think. Third and six right now. Chasing down second place. Still got better tires than him at the moment. Really want to get a good lead over him. Oh, she crashed. So it's all in loud now. That's no good. <laughs> it's literally our only, our one-shot pony here, which is what we put all of our points parts into anyway, so not too surprising. Oh, fourth is catching up with us. Fourth is really fast. Oh, it's because it's drying up a little bit, but it's going to start getting wet here again soon. Holding on to third. We'll keep holding on. A little bit longer. We need a pit soon. We need to schedule our pit after this, actually.
And we will be coming out on enters at least one more set. And then we finish off this race with uh, regular tires. Hopefully we have a big enough lead to matter. All right. Uh, so we definitely want enters again. Um, how many laps are we going to have? It's going to be at lap nine now. And it's going to start tapering off around lap 18. So we need at least nine laps of fuel. Yeah, we'll go with the full, full thing. Part of me really just thinks we have to go for this, but... Such a risk. But it could make a difference. We, and this is our, this is our life right here. This is our job right here. Everybody else pit around us. Come on, come on. No mistakes, no mistakes. Go, go, go. Oh, that was good. That was huge. That was a that was a big deal. So just back up to third. Let's just drop down to medium and neutral for now. Just really kind of settle in. If somebody starts threatening us from behind us, which is very likely will happen with this guy in the green, because he's obviously that good, then we need to start pushing a little bit more. Up to second now. But again, this guy in the green, he's about to just swoop past us in a big way. You know, if they're going overtake attack, we need to go overtake attack, see if we can pin them off. I don't think we can. No, there's no way. It's just too fast. Alright, so we'll go back down. Just too fast of a car, but if we can hold off the rest of these guys. Ooh, man. This could make a huge difference for us. It's guaranteed to be one more pit. We'll definitely be putting on probably, probably our fastest tires. Got a little bit of a gap against fourth, but not much. I think we'll make it um, on fuel to a good enough place to uh, to swap to the some some faster tires. So fourth is right on our tail, and he's catching up very very quickly. And he's just diesel on yellow, and he's catching up that quickly. Honestly, we can go a little bit more aggressive on the tires, I think. It's okay if they get a little bit red here. Yeah, fourth is fourth is just too fast. It's catching up, but it's really fifth and sixth here that we really have to worry about the most. We're actually about to lap somebody. That's the first time we've lapped somebody, like, ever. Come on, Lau. Keep pushing it, buddy. Keep pushing it. We're fighting for our lives here. A couple more laps. We need a pit. It's about to dry off. Probably should be pitting, honestly, soon. Um, can we see if these guys are pitting yet? Doesn't look like you're pitting. I'm going to watch you guys for a little bit. See if you guys pit. So you guys did not pit. You guys are going to stay out one more lap. If you're staying out one more lap, I'm staying out one more lap. Although it might have been smart to, to pit in. Um, to uh, If they didn't pit, then maybe it would have been smart to pit in. But we're going to stay out. Everybody else that's in the mix here is staying out as well. We do want to pit in here. Um, we want to come out on the fastest tires we can. Only eight laps left. Like a little bit of extra just so I can really push it. It's only seven laps remaining after the pit, though. So two laps extra should let us push pretty hard for most of it. I think we gotta go fast again. Such a risk. Fourth is right on our tail. If we get this pit stop, then I think we can take the top five here. Oh, such a good pit stop. 
Oh, guys, you are you are saving my life here. Go, 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 go. We have excess fuel and everything. Car condition is fine. I mean, we, we have no red zone here. Put back a little bit on the tire. We don't want to burn through the tire too fast. Fourth is right on my tail. Fifth's further behind, though. Five left. So we've got plenty of fuel. We can stay very heavy on the fuel for the entire time. Come on. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Where'd fourth go? Fourth crashed. Oh, that's huge. That is huge. We just got to settle in. F fourth is so far behind us now. 12 seconds. Okay, well, let's stop pushing then. Definitely don't need to be pushing anymore. You can keep it on overtake, though. Condition's good. Come on, guys. I mean, there's no way of catching up second, I don't think, but being able to fend off... Being a top three is absolutely huge here. Would love it if this guy was not one of the ones that was in there, though, because um, he's the one we need to start catching up on points against. Let's make sure we're not doing anything stupid here. we got plenty of fuel here. Plenty of tire. Huge gap between us and fourth. I, I mean, unless we crash, we're in third place here. That's with... I mean, she loot crashing is so bad, but... I think if she had been in the match, I think we could. she could have been top 10 or something like that. Easy. Possibly number 5. Who knows? Wow. That is huge. We needed 7th. We got 3rd. We got, we got a podium finish. That is absolutely huge. Lau showed up at a time we needed him most. Maybe we just got to just build up his car the most. I mean, honestly, she's going to be unhappy about it, but... We got to fight for our lives here at this point. Wow, that is huge. I mean, it obviously helped that a couple of these guys that were, that would have been ahead of us crashed out. But even if they were ahead of us, we still would have gotten top five there. That was, that was a, that was the race we needed. And we got a better engine coming up soon too. But even that. Fourth place. Or four points, I mean. And podium, and that should make the chairman mega ultra happy. Jumps us up to fourth place on the points, or just one behind. Again, this Katano Sport guy. If they had gotten had not gotten some points there, that would have that would have helped us out a lot more, but it is what it is. Wow, we needed that race so badly. Unfortunately, I hate that that. She's going to be unhappy here, but there's just nothing we can do. His morale didn't go up. Oh, it's because he's still got that permanent penalty at the moment. Fortunately, her relationship with the mechanic went down, which is what it is. Well, Chairman is happy now. A full 11% happiness overall. My job is safe for now. Oh, we needed that race so badly. If we can compound on that... I don't know. Can we, can we get more? I think if we get that other engine out, we have a chance of doing some good stuff here. Eight days, ten hours. Really put as much into this to get it high performance as, as high, high performance as possible. Problem is that we're going to start being close on the money. We have what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven laps left. Well, seven races left, which means we need fourteen point about sixteen million dollars. We're a little bit shy, so it's possible we can't do any more parts here. But anyway, all right, we're going to pause there. Excellent, excellent race. Well worth it. Saved saved us in a major way, plus got us some points that might have potentially lead towards saving our, our entire season. So we'll see. Uh, I do appreciate you watching, though, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye.